Hi everyone, I'm Janelle Jones of Hustling Hotties and host of the Big Dreamer series. I have with me today Janae, Janae Fletcher. Hi Janae, how are you? Hello, I'm doing well, thank you. Good, good. Janae, can you tell us about your business? Yeah, it's, um, it's been a work in progress and I originally came from the health field and through that I developed a set of systems to really help us build foundations for self-care. So oftentimes it gets put on the back burner or you want, you know, help with healing or doing that. So basically I consider myself a self-care architect where we build foundations personally and professionally with systems and structures, but also time built in there to have fun and raise your family and have time for your life. So it's not all about work. It's about working things together so you can have a great life. So you plan people's lives <laughs> and business through business with systems and schedules. Is that yeah, and just making choices, like really being honest with ourselves about, you know, what we want to say yes to and what we want to say no to, with, you know, equal amounts of enthusiasm. And just doing that with people, setting boundaries about what is, you know, is it going to bring me, you know, more efficiency, more joy, more, you know, time to have fun and with your family, whatever that happens to be for your personal choice. That's what I help people with, is figuring out that equation and some of that does involve you know systems and structures and getting you know through your calendar and things like that and a lot of time it's just mindset on how you're perceiving what's important to your life and really acknowledging that wow that's amazing i've never heard of anyone doing that before so i like that yeah um, so what with this type of unique business what strategies have you used to make this business a success well, through the years, about 15 years ago, I developed something called the self-care passport. And at first it was just on a piece of notebook paper. And I was a single mom at the time. And I really needed to figure out basically what I just said, like, what do I need to say yes to and no to, or who am I hanging out with? And how is that affecting my life? And really making those decisions to increase my health and my my life to, you know, up my life to a better level. And so basically three to five times a day, I would just write down like what I'm doing, who I'm hanging out with and how it made me feel. And then at the end of the week, I would really, I have an analytical streak. <laughs> so I would take a look at my piece of notebook paper that was on the fridge and I would circle like all these emotions that I wanted or didn't want to have and just make adjustments for the next week. Well, that evolved, it was so successful and helped me make decisions in a better way for myself that I turned it into the self-care passport. So now it has like an awesome name and, you know, a system, but that's how it started out, just out of necessity to really build my life up in a different way, make good decisions for myself. I love that, I love that. So, okay, you've got all this going, you're a single mom, tell me about, an outrageous goal because as single moms we go through a lot of different things and we have to keep going ourselves so what is an outrageous goal that you set for yourself over the years that you've accomplished that i've accomplished mm -hmm. well at that same time that pivotal time that i had my notebook paper and i uh had just graduated from um school and i started a business and i was brand new, fresh, you know, mom of three sons. And I recently sold that business. So I retired. So I had it in about 20 years, more like, well, 17 and a half to be exact. And I ended up selling that. So I built it up from the ground up. And then 17 years later, I just sold it in January. And I'd say, whoo, <laughs> that was my biggest accomplishment as far as that goes business. And that allowed me to send my children to college and have them have a great life that at one point I was wondering how I was going to do that. Wow, I, that's a whole nother, we're gonna have to have a podcast episode about that, about how you sell <laughs> business, how you value those things. That's amazing. That's absolutely yeah. amazing. It took about two years to orchestrate. And you know, I looking back, I would make different decisions uh, you know, you learn every time you do something, but all in all, I'm very, very happy with my decision and uh, the new owner is doing awesome. So I'm really excited about that. Wonderful. Congratulations on that, by the way. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so 
tell me, um, what goal do you have now? You sold a business, you raised three boys. What's your next goal? My next goal is to really help people discover within what I did over the last, you know, 17 years or something like that. Because this, like, going through the self-care passport and just really learning to take a look at my life and make decisions that are best for me. I really want to inspire people to do that. We waste less time. We have more fun. Our finances increase because we're working more efficiently because we're happy. And it's not always an easy road, <laughs> but you know, using some of these strategies, you know, you can have a great life. And I would really want to inspire people that everything is possible. You know, at one point I was like, whoa, <laughs> you know, reality yeah. this is going to be hard. And there were some days that were, were very hard. But so that would, that is my goal. And I, I did start the self-care passport as a business, but also as a lifestyle. Um, it's just something that I live into. I walk my talk. And uh, so that's what my goal is. I love it. I love it. So if you could say one person helped you to get to the point that you are, to um, the person that you are today, who would you say it is? I would say, I kind of go with my dad on this one. Even though my dad, uh, I took care of him at the end of his life and he had Alzheimer's, he just mm -hmm. kind of filled in me to believe in myself. And I remember when I was um, wondering about raising sons and trying to, you know, help them be good men and good humans. And he would just say to me, you're going to do it because you're a good person. And then he supported me wholeheartedly um, through my massage business, which is the business I had. And, you know, by coming into the office, doing different things. And I used that skill in business, but also personally um, with him. And then as he needed care, as he got older, it was a form of communication for us. It's something he never lost. I would, at the very end, I was just um, rubbing his hands, but I could feel him. And so mm -hmm. I have to say that he would be it. That's beautiful, that's beautiful. Sorry for your loss, by the way. Oh, yes, it was a blessing. You know, it's bitter, always bittersweet, but daddy's girl, I'll, I'll admit. <laughs> so, <Aww. yeah. laughs> So sweet. Um, so what would you tell your 15 year old you if you could give her some advice? What would you tell her? Oh, that 15 year old girl had so much potential and she didn't realize it. And so I think I would tell her just go for it, girl. You got it. You're funny. You're smart. Uh, you're, you know, you can do good things without worrying about what everybody else thinks and all that. Definitely. So on that same extent, what would you tell a budding entrepreneur or just an entrepreneur that is not at the level of success that you're at? Just keep going. I really felt like baby steps got me where I am today. It wasn't like all of a sudden I was doing you know, everything. It was like, even if one day you take a step towards your goal and maybe that one day it's making a list. Maybe that one day is taking a nap, but you know, baby steps really help. And then another key, I think, is always knowing where your money is, no matter how much you have. Like, I remember being at the very beginning, and I would list out, nothing fancy, just on a legal pad, all my expenses, all my income, but I always knew where I stood. And that really is, to me, I mean, emotionally, you have all these important things, but really knowing where your money is is a very practical um, way to run a business. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, so what's your must-read book? If there was a book that changed your life, what was it? I got to go with The Four Agreements by Don Miguel. You're uh, the second person today that said that. Uh, I have to read yeah. it. Well, and you know, I've picked it up at different times in my life. I first read it when it came out, I believe it was 1997. Mm -hmm. And I read it and I was thinking, oh, yeah, of course, impeccable with your word, you know all the four agreements, which are don't take things personally, don't make assumptions, and always do your best. And I'm like, sure. <laughs> it seems so easy, right? That's logical. But then every time I read it, I'm like, oh, okay. And there's just a deeper layer. And recently, just a week ago, I picked it up again. And it's just a book that I go back to over and over again. Plus I'm going to have to read it now. It's really thin. <laughs> <laughs> Easy read. Hey. 
<laughs> Reality is, is that we don't always have time for an 800 page novel, right? Exactly. I love it. I love it. Um, what about your favorite quote? What is your favorite quote? Oh, I'm going to go with brave is better than perfect. We, we get caught up in, oh, I don't know how to do this all yet. Or, you know, I'm not going to do this until I know how to do it better. And just brave is better than perfect. And you get out there and do your best. And then you're going to grow upon that. You know, you're going to build foundations of self-care and knowledge and, you know, whatever you happen to be, your personal or professional. And you're just going to build up from those baby steps. I love it. I love it. So, Janae, thank you for doing this for me. How can we participate in your movement? What is your social, your website? Tell us how we can participate in yeah. your um, My website is JanaeFletcher.com, and it's J-A-N-A-E uh, Fletcher.com. And on there, I do have a free download. It's called 12 Steps to Motivated, Loving, and Adventurous Self-Care. And it's a little bit just getting out of the box, thinking about self-care as more of a way we live our life, rather than, oh, I got to fit this in, or I'm going to do this. It's almost just how we live and breathe. Like, less is more sometimes, you know, or just doing things a little differently. So I think that's a great resource. And then I just started a podcast. It's new this month. And I would really appreciate people listening. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's called the Self-Care Passport, and it's available on iTunes and Spotify and, you know, a lot of different platforms. But the basic is, basis of it is, is that self-care is a lifestyle and that we build foundations. So it goes through love and finances and health and, you know, all of that. And it's new. So I only have a few episodes, but I'm really excited to build upon that. And then my favorite social media is Instagram. And it's just Janae underscore Fletcher. And of course I have Facebook and such too. But those are my favorite. Perfect. And we'll have a link down to um, Janae's connection so you can connect with her down below. So just scroll down on the page and click on, get signed up with Janae and her program. Janae, thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you.